Taurus, welcome back to your Astro Flower reading. This is going to be the Tower section for the week of the 29th going through to the 4th of uh, February. Okay, um, I did do your uh, energy, um, your blueprint energy update, uh, which is also on this channel. And that goes into your chakras and your auras. Now we're going to sort of tie it in with your uh, Tower reading. Let's just see what's going on in the overall energies for you this week. It's bringing it into you. It's almost sort of saying, um, what is your desires? What is your heart's desires? Uh, what is, um, yeah, what's on your menu, basically? What's on your menu? That's what it seems like at the moment. <laughs> Love, is it? It's finding that harmonious place with you. We went into the chakras and obviously we looked at the sacrum, but also the third eye and the throat chakra and how they play together. And that's very similar. That looks like a, very similar to a sacrum. And if I put it that way, that looks like the third eye and the throat chakra on those two sort of uh, cups there. And I think this is all about where it says it's bringing it into you. It's finding that harmonious place because I think from from the fifth um, uh, or the, is it the sixth? Yeah, this is goes up to the fifth. Sorry, I do apologize. Um, from the sixth going through to... Um, the 12th, uh, yeah, there's going to be um, there's going to be bumps in the road for everybody because uh, we looked at that in the monthly readings and it's setting up. I think the here is touching base with you. So, you know, you uh, basically, I think this is what the overall energy is for this week to know you, how you interconnect with everything. OK, because uh, we saw that that was learning about how energy affects your uh, your your emotions and that's what that's coming out this month let's see what's on the um, karmic message on the relationship side there is passion but it's concentrated passion it seems to be a very uh, direct passion so being passionate about um, uh, the person that you're with in the moment you're with them. And you can choose who you wish to be with. That's the thing, uh, Taurus. Uh, did, I, did I call you Capricorn earlier on? If I did, I do apologize. I'm a Capricorn, so I really am apologizing. <coughs> you know, um, yeah, it's passionate about being with other people. It's work well done. And this is in regards to relationships. So it's, it's sort of like a sensation of sort of saying, I'm willing to put in this in my emotions. Um, I'm only going to spend time with people who are also willing to have quality relationships. I think that's what your karmic message is this week to sort of understand and get behind, get in your in your head, as it were. Let's see what's going on and how the universe, how the divine plan is influencing this karmic message. They're trying to gather everybody together. So I think there is a case of they're trying to encourage within this three of pentacles is making the overall connection with people around you, such as your family, uh, your friends, making that network so it works on a harmonious place in lots of different angles and lots of different uh, different avenues, as it were. Yeah, there is a certain degree of play which we went into to looking at your sacrum as well. Um, and this is all discovering a little bit about your play, what makes you buzz. And this is what I was saying earlier on. And it ties into beautifully into the two of cups. Um, there is a degree where there is passion within you, um, which is passion for a partner. There is, um, there is also that that comes up on the surface and it comes up... Um, and it seems to be a passion that seems to be in there for a long time. Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence this karmic message. They're making sure that you don't... So doing this quality networking and connecting with other people, as I said earlier on, is to do with not only quality of work of what you've done, but also a quality of work of what other people have done. It's, it's, it's learning to appreciate yourself 
uh, in the appreciation of others. And here the guides are sort of, there's no point trying to do that with everyone because then, you know, the appreciation will be lost, in they'll be less valuable. And here the guides are trying to sort of streamline that sort of front. Yeah, they're just presenting, you know, where the heart connects. And this is where the solar plexus comes into it. I said it was a very direct um, energy and, uh, you know, fire and passion. That's what that is. And that's what the solar plexus is feeding into the heart here. So it's talking about the guides here are trying to encourage situations, coincidences in your life. If you find yourself with coincidences about you, I would follow the heart, not your head, uh, in regards to the relationships at the moment. Let's just see how the... Um, what the conversation is within you, how the guides are trying to influence the conversation in regards to your relationships. Don't try so hard. I think um, when we try too hard, we often forget us in the situation. Uh, and I think that's what the Two of Cups is all about. We've got the Ace of Cups, we've got the Two of Cups. Very nice, I've just realised that. A real steady progression, a real connection there. Um, that could be that connection with that old, with that passion that is within you that's connecting with some past people. But here is, um, uh, you know, it's trying, sometimes don't try so hard. Allow the sun, the sun to come to you rather than just walking east trying to meet the sun as quickly as possible. Um, you've got two aces down that side. It's very, very productive. And it's almost like <coughs> you've got two gifts here. And this could be combining these two here. Um, really getting passionate about your life. And you've got that Ace of Pentacles there where it's almost like you know what works. How you, you're going to know this week. You're going to learn a lot about how you work. You're going to learn a lot about how you work with other people as well because you've got that three of pentacles. Um, and in on your relationship side, it is like a new beginning, but starting off from... Um, it's like when you do work at school. Obviously, when you go to take your exams when you're 18 or whatever, um, you've already done loads of work before. And it's uh, those last sort of three or four years is... is in, you know, it's working on what you've already worked on, this foundation. So I don't necessarily think it's uh, it's a new start, but it's basically, it's an invigorating what you know already. And, it, and it's going to feel like something completely new. It's, it's a whole new vista that's opening up for you. Let's just see what's going on on your financial sort of side. Here's your karmic message on this side. Here they're talking about accumulating. So uh, I think this is realising that when you've got success, don't try and run and do the next success. Get it well bedded in. So when you've planted those seeds and you can see those little shoots come up, don't kind of start kind of going, OK, well, in that case, I'm going to plant somewhere else and stuff like that. Let's plant loads more. Wait a little bit so you've got, so you know that you've got a whole, you know, you've planted 100 seeds. Some of them may start growing, but... Once you get to the real sort of like first three or four leaves, you may have lost half of them. So you might realise that when you're going to do your next planting. So it's 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 working with a little bit of, um, uh, how would I say, you know, a bit of, you know, you've got to play smart here, I think. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's accumulating the past pleasures of your business or of your job or stuff like that. It's, that's what I was sort of saying. It's what you've got coming in already. I would put that down to foundation and just accumulate for a little bit. And I think this is what this is all about. It's enjoying the moment, enjoying the idea of going from something that you started when you were younger um, and actually getting to some results. And, you know, this could be a six month plan as much as it could have been a 10 year plan. But it seems like uh, it seems to be working. Therefore, I would. Uh, you know, concentrate on giving that as a good foundation, basically. Now, let's just see how the divine plan is sort of uh, influencing this karmic message.
here it's coming through it's been a long time coming they're giving you space it's as if like um you're coming you come through the you come through the forest and you come out into a valley and all of a sudden there's big plains in front of you and it's like the universe is sort of saying uh you know you've you've worked hard enjoy the space and this is where i think the accumulation is really important as well <laughs> i think okay so coming through a forest you might say um it's difficult and i think this is the universe is sort of saying we're going to give you some space because you've worked hard and we're going to take away that stress and that strain in your life and this is what i'm talking about as accumulation don't try and put yourself back under that stress within your job, within your business. Appreciate your um, progression in whatever you've been doing. Appreciate that and realise that, you know, you've done the work. You've done, you, you deserve it. Um, let's just see uh, what's going on. And that, could, that is at every single level. You know, it's not like sort of like you've done the work and you've now got $20 billion dollars or whatever, you know, you've done the work to get the job, you've got the job, so it's calm in the job, don't worry, just sit tight for the moment, observe, find out what the opportunities are. Once you know the opportunities, you can say, okay, you know what I mean, I want to follow that. That's, that's, that's what I mean, you know, and the universe is trying to take off that stress of trying to look for that job. It's at every single level, it doesn't matter what, what you're doing in your life, it's just how you confront it. This is what the Astro Flower is all about trying to help you, you know, help everybody to make everybody's life not only easier, but more fulfilling. Because if your life is more fulfilling, my life is more fulfilling. It just makes it easier for everybody. So it's within my interest that you're okay. I'm not, I can't live your life for you, but it's within my interest that you've got a good life. You know, <laughs> so we all win. Um, let's just see how the guides are influencing this karmic message. They're tallying, they're accumulating, because they're working out now, um, as you come out into this plane, all of a sudden they're kind of going, oh, this is really good. We've got all of these um, fruits of the forest. Now let's get some fish from the, the, you know, the river in the plane. And they're sort of kind of going, in that case, we're gonna have to stock this fruit. And so they're stocking it up, getting ready to get the fruit. They're, 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 they're getting ready to get the fish. They're, you know, they're looking to advance, but they're rather than seizing on the first opportunity, they want to make sure the foundation is really in place uh, for you. Yeah, strength. They're quelling those inner fears that we all have that sort of says, if I don't keep pushing, I'm not going to advance. Sometimes you advance because you don't push. Not all the time. More often, more not than often, you know. Um, but I think this is one of those times where do not stress yourself, quell those inner doubts. And I think this is where the guides are trying to help you quell your inner doubts. Uh, let's just see um, what's going on on the conversation that is within you. Okay, what they're trying to emphasize, and this is what they're trying to encourage in you, is heaven. I'm in heaven, and my heart beats so that I can hardly speak. When we're out together, dancing cheek to cheek. It's, it's really, it's encouraging you to enjoy the moment, Taurus. Enjoy the moment. Queen of Cups. It, that's exactly what it is. It's the Queen of Cups. Enjoy that moment, uh, Taurus. I think you're going to enjoy your success. Enjoy your, yeah, you, knowing that you can do it. So you can do it once, you can certainly do it twice. So you know in the future, anytime, you can push and you're gone, you're going. Let's just see what's going on, the overall outcome and what's coming in for the following week as well. What's touching on that? Okay, there's bumps in the roads or there's rapids on the um, on the river to get through. And this is everybody, I think. Fair ex exchange. 
So we've got six of cups, goes through the two of cups, and you get to the six of pentacles. So you've got the two ace of pentacles, uh, aces over on that side. Um, I think this is this could slow you down a little bit because this is where you know you've got to rely on other people. I think this ties in as well with you in the in the social aspect of how it ties in with your life. I think there needs to be a fair exchange, and it may be a case where the work situation and your private life uh, may need to. There's maybe there's something to sort out there. There's also uh, uh, something that's coming through that's the sort of like. Um, not allowing other people to get away with, you know, being dishonest in a way in which they sort of confront things and confront life. So, um, yeah, I think there's a challenge coming up in the following week. But preparing for it this week is really important. And this is where you've got to enjoy it. When you enjoy this moment, it's going to stimulate that growth saying, OK, it's been a tricky week the following week, but I know what I want. And that's what I'm going to aim for. And that's what's going to get not only you through, but us collectively through. Because uh, we're going, it's going to be an interesting time the next sort of uh, two months. Uh, yeah, there you go, Taurus. Thank you very much for being with us. I can't believe you're not subscribed already. If, you, if you've watched this far and you're not subscribed, what's going on? What's going on? Um, yeah. Uh, you know, thank you very much for your support for this channel. Um in the meantime, there's only left for me to say, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.